you can use VS Code's timeline to view the git commit history of a file. The timeline is just another view in the Explorer, so it's sort of like the outline view, and I'm going to maximize it here. If you're not seeing a timeline entry, make sure that you're using the latest VS Code version. Inside the timeline, we're seeing a list of commits from most recent, and as I scroll down, we're getting two older commits along here. And it's showing the commit title, who made the commit, and then when that commit was made. If we want some additional details, we can just hover over the commit, and it will show some additional information about that, including the full commit message. By default, the timeline will automatically update to track whatever file you're in. So if I switch over to the most recent release notes, for example, then we notice that here it's actually updated the timeline to be for this current file. And then if I switch back to the readme, it's gone back to the timeline for the readme. If I want to view any of these commits in more detail, I can actually just click on them to see the diff. So here I have just clicked on the file and it is now showing a diff of that current change. So just right here in the editor. I can also right click on any of these entries to get additional information. So if I wanted to copy the commit message, I can just do that. Or I can go and copy the commit ID if I want that as well. When you're working in a complex code base, using the timeline makes it easy to understand the history of a file and explore the changes that have been made to it.